Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Always a privilege to come your way with God's word. I'm excited. I'm super excited to have you on this platform today. Thank you so much in Jesus' mighty name. If you happen to be seeing me for the first time, my name is Samuel E. Molombe. I am the man that God is using. And here on this platform, I bring you the, the word of God. I bring you powerful prophetic prayers and mighty prophetic declarations in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, I need you to be sure to be a part of this Christian community that we have here. The power of God is moving. We stand with one another. And I'm telling you, it's just super amazing. You want to subscribe on the channel. Ring the notification bell so that you do not miss the very important words that we share on this platform. God bless you. The Lord said something very powerful today. God is saying that this is the reason for the dryness this is the reason for the dryness god is saying that there is about to be a rain that will fall and the scripture calls it the latter rain i was reading from first kings chapter 17 and verse 7 the bible says and it came to pass after a while that the book dried up because there had been no rain in the land and the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, You see, we, are, we see the man Elijah having to battle with the fact that there's no rain. And, and I don't want to give you the details of how, um, you know, there had not been rain for the, for, for the past three years. But we were, we were you know, faced with a, a, a drought situation in this particular scripture. The, the land was dry. Nothing was producing. No water, no rain. Nothing was actually happening. And the Bible says the word of the Lord came. Every time you experience a dryness in your life, what you need is the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord comes to bring fresh, you know, freshness to every set situation or circumstance that you might be experiencing. You might think that what you need is an introduction of a man into your life. You see, but the word of God is a package. When it comes, it opens up and then you receive all the glorious things that are found in it. The Bible says, the word of the Lord <clears throat> breaks the cedars of Lebanon. I'm sorry. The Bible says that the word of the Lord, the word of God, it, it, it breaks the, the, the voice of the Lord. When God speaks, even the greatest mountain gets dissolved. When God speaks, even the deepest valley is leveled up. When God speaks, you see, the word of the Lord is so powerful that if you receive one rhema word, what is a rhema word? The rhema word is a word for you. It's a word customized for your circumstance. It's a word that is sent from heaven directly to you. You see, this is very important. I need you to hear this. We live in a realm that is controlled by words. The Bible says that by faith we understand. That is Hebrews chapter you know, um, 11 verse 3. He says by faith we understand that the worlds were formed by the word of God. It was framed by the word of God. God spoke everything you see into being. Hallelujah. Is that not amazing? That God could speak. And all the beauty you see around you was created because he spoke. I am here to announce that the word of the Lord will come into that situation. It will turn your life around 360 degrees. The word of the Lord is coming to terminate the dryness in your life. The word of the Lord is coming to bring you into a place of fruitfulness, into a place of blossoming. The word of the Lord is coming. I don't know the circumstance and the situation where that you are in right now as this prophetic word is you know coming to you maybe you lost a loved one maybe you are super sad you're sick maybe you're financially down you are battling anxiety depression you have one thing or the other you are trusting the lord for i speak in the name of the lord jesus christ the word of god can reignite your hope the word of god can bring you out of that place of the spiracy the word of god can instill Teach you, reads, teach you in your glorious future. The word of God can put you up on the mountain where everyone is going to see you. 
The word of God can create an atmosphere of miracles and possibilities around you. And all you need today is the word of God. The Bible says that David was speaking to God. He says, your word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. The word of God has the ability to make you live a life above sin. The Bible calls the word of God the mirror. He says, as we behold it like we look into a mirror. He says, we are changed. So what you are reading in the word of God, or what the word of God comes to tell you, is your real self, is the true you, is what you are supposed to be, hallelujah, glory to God, is what you are supposed to be, my friends. That's why you must invest in the word of God. You must seek to know what God is saying about you. If you go through the scriptures, you see in ancient times that the people of old, they will inquire of the Lord. What is God saying about this situation? What is God saying about this challenge? What is the mind of God about this? And as they begin to receive that Rema word, it sets the pace for what they should expect. It sets the pace for what life should be for them. Oh, I'm speaking to you in the name of Jesus. The powerful word of God is coming to get you out of that place, that dark place that you find yourself. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. The word of God is coming to bring you into life. The word of God is coming, you know, to, to give you all that it talks about. The word of God is coming to heal you of every disease. The word of God is coming to heal your heart. Emotional pains and wounds are being healed by the power of God's word in the name of Jesus. The word of God is coming to set you like a city that is on a hill that cannot be hid. Yes, maybe you have been hidden by challenges of life. You have been hidden by, by witchcraft, oppressions and manipulation. As the word comes to you today, glory to God, it's coming to get you out of that dark place and set you up to be all that God has destined for you to be. I declare the Lord bless you and keep you. I declare that the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. I declare that the Lord be gracious to you and the Lord give you peace. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, glory to God. Do you receive this prophetic word with gladness? Please, I need you to do me a few favors. Number one, touch the like button now. Like the video and share it. Let it get to somebody. Check to see if you're subscribed on the channel. And if not, please kindly subscribe so that you do not miss all the powerful words like this. I declare God's blessing on you in Jesus' name. I love you. And this is Samuel Molombe. I'm signing out. Shalom.